Hello, my good people. Back again. Another infamous trailer reaction. I'm Kuya P. Slightly congested, but here loving it as always as I share my thoughts on something new with Heather Hurt. How are you, Heather? I'm good. I'm also getting over something sick. Get boosted, friends. Get boosted. I love that, Heather. Get boosted, people. But drink a lot of water. Please drink yes. a lot of water. Lots of water. Um, some chicken soup. Get boosted. And now let's boost them, Heather, with this new trailer uh, from Search Light Pictures based on a true story. Uh, let's check out Chevalier. You ready? Sure. Let's go. Here we go. Welcome to Paris, Joseph. Monsieur, I fear this will not be a kind place to such a boy. Boy has talent, but one in particular that is exceptional. Very well. I realized the more I exiled, the less I was alone. Were you always so competitive? The show-off who spoiled Mozart's concert. May I play with you, monsieur? Well, I hope this won't be embarrassing for you. Who the hell is that? You are quite a remarkable man, Joseph. I, Marie Antoinette, Queen of France, hereby anoint you Chevalier. Any other country, a man of your color would not be wearing such fine clothes. One day, the whole world will know me. And of course, the music will be spectacular. Bold. You don't belong here. You're a party trick. You're a pet. Playing the violin, that is all. You know I am the best. You are playing a dangerous game, friend. You forget your place, boy. Break his hands. This world is painful for us, my son. But there is always the choice to fight. I'm putting on a concert. Let us fund the revolution. We cannot afford to make any more enemies. France is changing. You could be more influential than you know. Leverage it. If you take to the stage, you will be erased. There will be no new France. You cannot topple what has been ordained by God. Not everything is about you, people. Oh. There we go. Heather, Chevalier. Um... Are, were you familiar of uh, this real person um, and uh, the history behind this uh, character uh, or, or real person, not, not not character, but the the the, the legend that he became? And I you know, it's, it's one of those where, unfortunately, people of color are often put to the wayside and their stories are diminished or mixed up with other stories. I do know of the character. Uh, not the character. We said I said that again. I did know of the person of the Chevalier, um, which is a royal designation, and I'm suspecting that this is the story of one that was probably mixed in his whose story was mixed in with other people's stories. Um, so I'm sure that I'm sure that most of us have heard it, but heard about his story, and it's never been fully defined. Agreed. Yeah, uh, same. I, I've heard um, in, in different respects, never fully looked into uh, the story. Uh, looking at the, the breakdown real quick, this is inspired by the true story of composer Joseph Bologna, uh, who had to receive the title, as you said, because it's a title, Chevalier de Saint-Georges, uh, the illegitimate son of an African slave and a French plantation owner. Bologna, played by Kelvin Harrison Jr., uh, rises to improbable heights in French society as a celebrated violinist, composer, and fencer. Um, let's also just say they're just doing the and fencer part right there. He was the world's best swordsman from what mm -hmm. I understood. That's where I learned about him because he was a swordsman and a fighter. That's what the this, this story that I'm familiar with. Um, complete with an ill-fated love affair and falling out with Mary Antoinette. So apparently he had a relationship with Mary Antoinette and her Fair, she hated her husband, so. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, again, 
uh, thankful that there's people of color and allies in the film industry that are giving us stories like The Woman King and now Chevalier and, and you know, and just working in the mediums that are now just helping, uh, you know, and over at Marvel, you know, we have people of color and allies uh, working over Marvel that gave us now Black Panther Wakanda forever. You know, we're getting integration into these stories, getting representation happening. Um, uh, to me, cinema has been getting so much better um, when it has been painted with a very white picture, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, whitewashing, whitewashing is a yes, thing. Whitewashed a lens. But, so. but what's even more important about that is that it's, we're getting stories that are true and yes. not, they are not painted with a brush in either direction. We have legitimate conversation on race and bigotry and hatred versus, um, versus whitewash tales on either side, because we don't want, um, we, we don't want division. We want true stories. Um, that's, that's probably the wrong way to put that, but, but you understand what I mean. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, we, we want a, we want honesty. We want reality. And that's what we're getting with stories like this. It's, we're not trying to hide the fact that he is, or he was not. It's, he was legitimately demoralized, uh, minimized as a person. And that's something that needs to be seen so that we can grow as a society. Exactly. Exactly. Well said, Heather. Um, yeah, glad that this is being told. Glad that we're seeing it. It's going to educate and um, and and blow people's minds that like like that people that didn't know about you know that there was this female warrior tribe you know that they saw out of Black Panther, which then gave us the Woman King to talk about the actual group. Um, and and now with Chevalier story getting out there, um, it, with Joseph Bologna, um, just all these other characters uh, and well, not really characters, real life people, y'all. I'm sorry that I'm saying we're that. Used but talking so about we're, movies, we're used to talking like about movies, traditional, films, you know? fictional yeah. films. Yes. Sorry. So, uh, so excited to see this. I, I can't wait to see this. Uh, some of my mutuals uh, that reminded me that this was coming um, just uh, were so outspoken and so excited for this. So, um, yeah, uh, whenever our stories as people of color get told, that representation is going to help across the board for other people of color whose stories aren't getting told. Um, no, so no matter if you're black, yellow, brown, whatever, you know, we, we all win together when our stories get told. Um, mm -hmm. So super excited to see this and yeah, can't wait. Looks good to me. Well, well your thought, you're, you interested in checking this out. You're aware of the stories as well. Heather? Um, I, I would absolutely be willing to, to watch this, um, to go in with that. It's also really important. I just really want to emphasize this, especially when we have movies like woman King until out this year, um, it's also really, 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 really important for our fellow white people for us to go in and see these stories and learn about these stories, because if we don't, they, there is a reason that we don't know this one person. Like there's a, we probably have all heard of this composer of the swordsman, but his story has probably been intermingled and changed over the years to fit a tale, to fit a myth. So with that being said, it is our responsibility to, to learn and to grow. And the best way to do that is to listen to other people's stories and learn from them. So. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love that. Yeah. It's like, uh, you just reminded me of something. It, it's kind of like helping us. I, I appreciate it as an ally, hearing me, hearing you say that just really makes me appreciative of you as an ally because uh, it's it's important that we we as people of color need to support our work, but also it's important for our allies to help support us because uh, we got to the way these stories get made is because it's all controlled by dollars uh, and all that. And it just also reminded me that you know at one point, you know, I never knew that the Lone Ranger was based on an African American. You know, Bill Bass, those old cowboy stories that a lot of how Hollywood and John Wayne all this they glamorized all this thing about cowboys, not knowing that they whitewashed it when it was a lot of it was based on some African-American slaves after the civil war that went out West. I, yeah, I, and it blows my mind that now the world is learning that. It, it's it's one know. of those where I say this as a Texan, cowboys were not white Hollywood and fuck you, John Wayne. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I am doing that. I never film. thought that at the time when I was a kid, you know, because that my parents were all about John Wayne, but my dad is white. And, you know, he looked at it. He didn't know from that. Well, a, a lot of people he's think, not exactly the best ally either, but that's a whole me and my father's well, there's, story. There's also, there's also but, a lot yeah. of 
people that didn't what one of the benefit of modern and we and we get this with movies like this one of the benefit of modern cinema of modern television of modern storytelling is that we have history we have references and we're not afraid to open those um those bolts and learn new things and figure it out a lot of people their mentality around what John Wayne said, what John Wayne did, it was either an alliance to or to conceal it. We don't want to conceal it anymore. What, whatever your opinion is of cancel culture, we have a way of bringing things to light and we have a way of making sure that people get the consequences. John Wayne did not ever have to worry about nor see the consequences. So if you are a John Wayne apologizer, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm with you. are out of date sir <laughs> i'll never forget seeing that clip he like played genghis khan one time or you know just well let, there's a lot of there's, a, there's a lot of shit that played that yeah. he i hope i hope that man is getting punched in the mouth every single day wherever he is in the afterlife i feel that all right so let's tell the haters because we know we're gonna get them but fuck y'all we don't care you're tuning into the channel anyway so we're getting those hits so fuck it i don't care <laughs> thank you for watching well, john wayne thank you for watching <laughs> Heather, how can they reach out to you? Um, you can reach out to me on Twitter at Nerd is a Heather or on TikTok and Instagram at Heather is a Nerd. And for me, it's the legend Kuya P on TikTok, IG, and Twitter for now. But as I've been telling everybody else about Twitter, fuck Elon Musk. Catch me over on Mastodon. <laughs> All right, y'all. Also follow us at the NRW, not New Release Wednesday, where nerds rule the world. Let us know if you're checking out Chevalier, because we'll be there too. Shout out out. Oh, <laughs> my